Okay, good morning. I am Anthony Carlos Mantino. So, your math teacher at the one is National High School. So, today we're going to discuss a new topic. And also, it is a continuation of our previous topic before. And now, um, before we start, I want you to um, be um, together with you your answer sheet and ball pen. And also, um, please have with you your self-learning materials. Um, on physical education, open it in week two. And also, if you have your books, please open it on page 66. And <laughs> let's start. But before we start, okay, for our content standard, the learner demonstrate understanding of lifestyle and weight management to promote community fitness. Performance standard. The learner maintains an active lifestyle to influence the physical activity and participation in the community and practices healthy eating habits that support an active lifestyle and for our learning competency. Execute the skills involved in the dance. And for our main objectives for our topic, explain the significance of dance etiquette. Execute the skill involved in the dance by applying the dance etiquette in their performance. So Let's have some first some pre-test for our discussion. So direction fill in the missing written inside the box. To complete each statement, so here are some choices. Blame, good reputation, dense etiquette, formal and level. So are you ready with your paper in ballpen? Okay, number one. Blank is the set of conventional rules which govern the social behavior of social dance by way of its participants. Number two, it helps you build a blank for yourself, both as a person and as a dancer. Number three, never blank a partner for mis-execution of figures. Number four, the more blank the dance, the more formal the outfit. Number five, dance to the blank of your partner. Okay, are you done? Okay, very good. So let's proceed for, with our recap. For our recap, true or false. Write T if the statement is true. And F if the statement is false on the blank provided before each number. Number one, the social dances and dance mixture are also known as ballroom dances. Number two, dance mixers are dances which allow group of performances to change partner to maximize the social dimension of dancing. Number three, cha-cha-cha belongs to a modern standard dance. Number four, social dancing improves your social life. Number five, performance costumes must be revealing, tight-fitting, sexy, yet very sophisticated. Are you done? Okay, very good. So now let us proceed with our main topic. It's about dance etiquette of social dances and dance mixers so my question how should you behave and perform in certain dancing social activity everybody you must practice etiquette in dancing to help you go about successfully with the dimensions of dancing and next question why do you care about dance etiquette because this will not just give you a fruitful dance experience, but will also provide with a widened social network. And my question is, what is dance etiquette? Everybody, dance etiquette is a set of guidelines that help you navigate the social dimension of dancing. Etiquette and Borean, its specification and stringency among the different forms of dance. Why is dance significant? Again, why is dance etiquette significant? Because it helps you fit in in the social dance crowd and make social interaction easier. It helps you keep the peace and avoid getting into conflicts with other dancers. It shows that you care about respect, 
other people and most importantly it helps you build a good reputation for yourself both as a person and as a dancer and so we have okay here are the five following aspects of social dancing should always be considered ilan po meron tayo meron tayong lima okay very good so number one is what to wear no fault dancing personal grooming diminor and on the dance floor so let's proceed first with what to wear ano nga po ba yung so we have um, we have your three columns from attire divided into gentlemen and ladies for formal for gentlemen we have the tail coat tuxedo coat regular coat bow tie regular necktie black trouser for ladies we have the ball gown evening gown dinner gown cocktail gown for semi formal we have the dress shirt and tie vest or sweater that shows the tie ladies dinner dress blowing pants for a tie for dressy casual practice dance lesson for gentlemen you can wear solid color t-shirt darker nailed polo shirt cotton slacks for ladies anything that displays a conservative toned down appearance and for latin Bottom up shirts, certain neck, solid t-shirt called bright color for outfits are accepted. For ladies, sexy outfits, long sleeves, skirts, and low necklines, and exposed midriffs are popular. So you know already what to wear. So let's proceed to number two. Ah, okay. But before we proceed, we have some don'ts in terms of outfits and shoes. Do not wear sneaker or shoe with rubber or spongy sole. Avoid sleeveless shirt and strap dress. Avoid shaggy, low armpit, upper shirt. Avoid accessories like big wings, brooches, lows, long necklaces, and big belt dacas because it can cause you an accident. Okay, for number two, no fault dancing. Never, never blame a partner for mis-execution of figures. Dance to the level of your partner. If your partner give her 100%, give your 110%. And the show must go on. If something went wrong, say sorry to your partner. And for number three, I'm going to give you some tips on how you do your personal grooming before and during the dance. So before the dance, take a shower and use Jordan. Brush your teeth and use mouthwash breath mint because we don't want to leave a bad impression to our partner, isn't it? Si ano nga yan? Ah, ito, ito, ito. Ang baho-baho nga yan. Ang baho ng ganito ni ano. So, abstain from food that produce strong odor. Don't smoke. It causes foul mouth and chlorine odor. And during the dance, check your grooming periodically. Freshen up and travel off. Periodically in the bathroom. Carrying an extra shirt is advisable for men in case they need to change because tayo mga lalaki ay Mabilis magpawes. So we need to have a, an extra shirt so that we can change immediately. Para hindi tayo masakibay sa ating health. For number four, demeanor. Be personable. Smile. Make eye contact with partner. If we say demeanor, it is what we call the behavior. Number two, project positive image on the dance floor if it's not your personal style. Again, dance at the level of your partner. Mahiya ka naman if your partner give the one and first give your if you don't know the dance be honest if you use from lip as to dance no teaching on the dance floor it may insult your partner and last one is do not cut other dancers off and for um, the last and but not the least it's about on the dance floor line of direction counter clockwise next while on the dance floor avoid colliding with other pairs be polite thank you or compliment your partner and the last one is accompany your partner back to her seat so you know already the the top five um aspect of social dancing etiquette so let us proceed with our activity so i want you to watch and observe carefully as the video is being played so wait
Okay, balik tayo. Napanood nyo ba yung video? Okay, so... I have some class, um, couple of questions. Number one question. Did the couple observe proper dance etiquette? Number two. How did the male partner behave? How will you correct it? Number three. If you are the partner, what will you do and why? And number four. What does the video trying to tell us? So... Let's submit your answer sheet on your next submission um, to be given to you by your advisor. Okay, so... Are you done? Okay, very good. So, dance etiquette in pandemic time. So, um, since um, social gathering is strictly prohibited, at this moment, because of COVID-19, we can um, observe this kind of dance etiquette. But um, I hope it will serve you a um, tips or lesson if lahat tayo nagbalik na sa normal. Huwag niyong kakalimutan ang lesson because it will help you a lot. Lalong-lalo na pag tayo ay naibalik na sa normal yung pagsasayaw natin na pwedeng tayong mag-gather ng maramihan. Okay, so let's have some post test. Okay, direction, fill in the missing word written inside the box to complete each statement. So I want you to answer it on your answer sheet. So inside the box, we have some choices like blame, good reputation, sorry, formal, honest, accompany, dance etiquette, level, smile, positive, and compliment. So let's start number one. Blank is the set of conventional rules which govern the social behavior of social dance by way of its participants. Number two, it helps you build a blank for yourself, both as a person and as a dancer. Number three, never blank a partner for mis-execution of figures. Number four, the more blank the dance, the more formal the outfit. Number five, dance to the blank of your partner. Number six, if you don't know the dance, be blank, rebuse promptly if asked to dance. Number seven, no blank on the dance floor, it may insult your partner. Number eight, blank your partner back to her seat. Number nine, the show must go on. Say blank to your partner if something went wrong. And the last one is, project blank image on the dance floor even if it's not your personal style. Okay, are you done? Okay, very good. So, let us check your paper. Correct. Um, check your uh, no, answers from pre-test, recap, and post-test. Are you done? Okay, so, for your assignment, individual activity, create your own blog about dance etiquette and social dancing. You can submit it to me through my messenger account or my email account. And that's it. Thank you for listening. And if you still have questions, you can email me or contact me on my messenger account or through my Facebook and Instagram account. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.